some of the methods that are used in the gene therapy. But first of all, as we have some physics students, they don't know the basic of DNA and all of that. So DNA is basically constituted of like two strains, which are anti-parallel, and they are made of, there are some base, which are complementary, like and G and complementary to C and A complementary to T. And then it's from a kind of, I don't know to draw it, a double helix structure. But I think you guys revise it with Mr. So in 2001, there was some company which tried to, how do you to make the, the entire sequence of DNA to, to in the human. And this is called the human genome. So we have 30,000 nucleotides in our genome. And so this, this information allows many scientists to try to understand disease, like genetic disease. Because now you can know, oh, this gene is responsible of this disease, and, and so on. So this leads to gene therapy. So before getting there, I will take an example of sickle cell disease. So sickle cell disease is caused by a change in the DNA sequence. You know, we have hemoglobin. We have four polypeptides. And there are two polypeptides, okay, there are four, and there are two called uh, alpha polypeptide and two called beta polypeptide. So the, the mutation that happened that causes sickle cell disease change on amino acid in the beta polypeptide. So here you have a sequence of amino acid in a person who do not have sickle cell disease. And then here you have a sequence of amino acids in a person who has sickle cell disease. You see that and from vitamin, yeah, vitamin, yeah, you go to that line. And it's just this base, this base code for vitamin, and then this base code for Balance. So it's just this little change from T to A that causes these dramatic cons uh, consequences which make um, the shape of the hemoglobin T to be like a sickle cell and cause many problems in people who have it. So what gene therapy aims to do is to, to correct these abnormal sequences of gene and to insert the normal gene in uh, in the people genome. So how does gene therapy work? You can just replace the normal gene or you can try to block, to turn off the gene that causes the disease or even introduce a new gene that will help fight the disease. So we have many types to, 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 to do this, you cannot just take a gene and introduce it in someone's DNA, someone's cell. You need to use some carrier molecule that will help you insert the normal gene into the cell. So there are two types. There are some viral uh, vectors and non-viral vectors. The viral ones are mainly virus. You know that virus have this ability to like to take their own genetic material and insert it in the old cell. So we have retrovirus, like HIV, who have like, they take their genetic material and then when they enter in a old cell, they replicate themselves using the person's DNA. And then we have adenovirus. This is a kind of virus, one, two, and a dub, double strain, and this virus is mainly the is mainly responsible for disease like intestinal disease or some kind of disease. 
And then you have adeno associative virus, which is made of one strain of DNA, and which like affect only chromosome 19 in a, in a cell. And we have FX simplex virus, a virus that infects neuron in the brain. And then we have the non-viral uh, vectors. We have nuclear DNA. It's just a DNA sequence and they put, they can inject in the cell using DNA gun. I, I don't have the image, but I think one day Belinda sent a picture of a DNA gun. And this is the easiest like, way to insert a DNA into someone's cell. And we have what we call oligonucleotide. So these are like small strand of DNA that are yeah, small and single strand of DNA just, okay, I don't know how to explain it. You know when there is DNA replication, you have to have the mRNA, you have to come and come and into like, you know, we have the two strands of DNA and the mRNA have to come like that and then make a template of the DNA. And then, so this molecule, the, oli, the oligonucleotide are both <coughs> short strands that come and insert themselves, like they come like that, so that the mRNA cannot uh, use the DNA as a template to, to make a copy. To, how do you can make yeah. a copy of DNA and to make the protein after? So this bas basically it is, is it is one of the methods that is used to inactivate the the gene, the abnormal gene. And we have liposome, which are like those small ves the vesicles that are made of phospholipid. And you just insert the DNA strain inside, and then it goes and de deliver it to the cell. Uh, but those methods um, have many challenges, especially like the use of viral vector. For example, the virus can go and infect uh, other cells. For example, you try to treat a, a kind of cancer cells, and you. you use a virus which can go and insert a gene in other cells which are even not cancer cells. And also a mistake can happen if, for example, the DNA is placed in a wrong place. It, it could cause many, uh, many problems. And immune response, your body may not, may see the viral vector as a how do you call it? a foreigner and attack it? And also, it, we have some difficulties to insert the DNA itself into the nucleus. For example, when we take the liposome, this it's small, it's very small, but it cannot enter in the core of the nucleus. It just leaves the DNA into the cytoplasm 